When you've got some leftover barbecue chicken, there's nothing worse than just boring everyone with chicken sandwiches. So today I'm going to show you something absolutely fantastic. With just this roasted chicken and a few ingredients from the cupboard, you'll be able to make something absolutely phenomenal. It's Chicken Snackies on The One Pot Chef. Chicken snackies are basically a form of chicken patty type thing like a rissole. Essentially it's just a little bit of mixed up chicken which has been shallow fried with a crumb on the top. Now as you can see in the food processor I've got some leftover roast chicken which I've just stripped off the chicken. It's about maybe two cups worth in there. So I'm just going to put the lid on, give it a process until it looks like fine crumbs. There we go. As you can see, that's been finely processed and we've just got this fine chicken crumb type stuff there. So, time to add our extra ingredients. First thing we're adding in is some mixed dried herbs. I'm using just mixed dried Italian herbs. So it's got sage, it's got rosemary, it's got all sorts of lovely things like that. Don't go overkill, just a little bit in each. I'm also going to add in some garlic, just my good old jar stuff. And I'm just going to put in a small amount, we don't need a whole lot. But um, if you don't like garlic, or if you're looking to make something maybe a little spicier, you can replace the garlic with some chilli flakes, you could put in some cayenne pepper, you could put in all sorts of different things, even some curry powder if you'd like to make some chicken curry snackies. So garlic's in. Also going to season with a little bit of salt, and some pepper. And I'm going to add in some store-bought breadcrumbs. Um, not measuring it exactly, but it's about a cup roughly. We're just going to pour that in over the top. That looks good. Excellent. And, of course, two eggs. This will help sort of bind the mixture together. And all we're going to do now is put the lid on top and process it until it's into a fine paste. There we go, and the result is this sort of thick dough-like paste. As you can see like that, it's very, very smooth. And we're going to use this to roll it into little patties. So what we're going to do is take small amounts of this mixture, maybe about a tablespoon each, and we're just going to roll them into little balls and just gently flatten them slightly till they form a sort of a patty shape. Something like that. That's lovely. We don't want them to be too thick, we just want them to be sort of little patties because they're like, almost like little chicken nuggets. I'm going to place them on a plate and until we've done all of them. Now I managed to make about 16 of these little patties. As you can see, they're very small, about the size of a chicken nugget, and we're just going to coat them in a crumb mix. So first things first, we're going to coat them in flour. Just plain flour will do, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just shake off the excess into an egg wash, which is two beaten eggs, mixed with a little bit of milk, and just beaten up. So make sure it's all nice and coated in that egg mix there. And then into some more of those dry bread crumbs that we used earlier, until they're nice and coated. There we go. It's as simple as that. Put it back on the plate, and then do the rest of them. We are ready to fry up our little babies here. Now, I've got some vegetable oil in a fry pan. Not a lot, just enough to shallow fry. I've heated it up so it's nice and hot. You put a little bit of that crumb in there just to see if it starts sizzling up instantly. If it does, ready to go, it's hot enough. So let's start putting these in one by one. We're gonna cook these for about two or three minutes either side or until they're nice and crisp and golden. Uh, we'll just flip these over. As you can see, they're starting to fry up lovely. Oh, look at that, yum. So yeah, just a couple of minutes either side. Once they're done, all you have to do is put them onto a plate lined with some kitchen paper, some absorbent kitchen paper, and just to drain off that little bit of extra oil that might be on them. But the secret is, when you've got the oil really hot, they will basically not suck up much oil. If it's too cold, it just sucks up the oil and they fall to pieces. So make sure that oil is nice and hot. And here's our finished result, our delicious chicken snackies. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're crispy and golden on the outside and they're soft and beautiful in the middle. I'm gonna cut one open just to show you what they look like on the inside. 
So you've got that beautiful golden crispy shell and you've got that lovely chicken mixture on the inside. These are fantastic with a few dipping sauces, something like sweet and chili, sweet and chili sauce or plum sauce, maybe some barbecue sauce. Absolutely fantastic. So give them a go. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And of course, all of the ingredients are in the video description below. And until next time, see you later.